Icing is projected with this storm, and it's going to be significant enough to cause down power lines and power outages. Think about the weight of water. When that ice is caking onto a power line, for example, it doesn't take long for those power lines to become heavy laden. Just an inch of ice, which some of us could end up seeing, would be about 500 pounds of, of, of uh, ice in weight on that high tension wire. We are seeing problems across our entire three-state region. Massive number of power outages. We knew severe winter weather was coming. We knew what it would bring with it. So we prepared. Staging workers throughout the service territory before the ice and snow hit. We were ready. Three rounds of ice and snow punished the grid over multiple days. 29 transmission lines out. 14 substations dark. 53 circuits completely shut down and unable to deliver power. More than 600 broken poles. Dozens of transformers destroyed and in need of replacement. And scores of wrecked cross arms. And most importantly, 59,000 customers without power. A force of more than 2,000 assembled to make right what nature made wrong. Working 16 hour days for days at a time. Supported by first responders, highway workers, national guardsmen, relief personnel, businessmen and women, community leaders, government officials, and our customers. Because as we say in Kentucky, united we stand, divided we fall. To all who offered a helping hand, a word of encouragement, or supported our effort in a countless number of ways, we at Kentucky Power simply say thank, thank you. you.